Hello, friends. Well, we're getting close to Thanksgiving, so I have some Thanksgiving things for us today. A little story on our board, and then a story in a book, and then a song about turkeys. And I'm wondering if you're going to be good at guessing colors. All right, let's start with our hello song. Hello, everybody. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, everybody. How do you do? God loves you today. All right, my first story I'm going to put on the board. So this is the story about the first Thanksgiving. So there were some people, and they were called pilgrims. And the pilgrims lived far away, and they did not like where they were living anymore. There was someone trying to be a boss of them and saying, this is what you need to do all the time. And the pilgrims didn't like that. So they thought they would go somewhere else. And so they decided to come to America. That's where we live, in the United States of America. So they had to come across the ocean. There were no airplanes. So they had to come in boats. There were actually three big boats that the pilgrims came over to America. And then when they got to America, they said, oh, this is a lot different than our home. And we don't know how to catch food. We don't know what grows in the ground. We don't know even how to fish. And what are we gonna do? And then it also was very cold because we know that in America it snows, right? So a lot of the pilgrims were not ready to live in America and they were having a really hard time. But then some men came and some ladies and they said, we will help you. So they already lived in America. So they're Indians. Ooh, can you see them on that picture? So the Indians, they were already living in the United States of America. And they said, we will show you what to do. And so the Indians showed them how to go hunting in the forest. And they knew that they could catch turkeys. Do you see that turkey up there? So they already knew how to do a little hunting. They helped the pilgrims with a little bit of fishing. So a little hunting and a little fishing. Well, then after they had helped, the Indians had helped the pilgrims, the pilgrims said, you know, we would like to have a big party and we want to celebrate you and say thank you to you for being such good workers and friends to us. And they called that first party Thanksgiving. Do you have Thanksgiving sometimes at your house or you go to someone's house? Thanksgiving is a time where we can remember that the pilgrims and the Indians worked together. We can remember that God gave us things to eat and friends and family to have at our house. So that's nice. Here's their big table. I have a little song about that. Ooh, let me move it higher so you can see. All right. All right. I'm going to pretend that I'm hunting. Now the Indians, they had something called a bow and arrow. Do you see it right here? So for my song, I'm going to pretend that I'm holding out that bow and I have to pull back a string and then I let it go and the arrow shoots. Two little Indians hunted in the forest. Two little Indians hunted in the forest. Two little Indians hunted in the forest on Thanksgiving Day. Two little pilgrims fished in the ocean. Ooh, get your fishing pole. Two little pilgrims fished in the ocean. Two little pilgrims fished in the ocean on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, they're cooking the turkey. I'm going to pretend like I'm stirring a big pot. Two little pilgrims cooked the turkey. Two little pilgrims cooked the turkey. Two little pilgrims cooked the turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, they're starting to get ready for their party. They've got all of these dishes. So I like to say that they set the table. Oh, let me see if I can fit that in a spot where you can see it a little bit, maybe over here. So when I sing about them setting the table, I pretend like I'm holding a big stack of dishes and I take one off the top and I put it down. Two little pilgrims set the table. 
Two little pilgrims sat the table. Two little pilgrims sat the table on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, they're praying and they're saying, thank you to Pilgrims and Indians prayed together. Pilgrims and Indians prayed together. Pilgrims and Indians prayed together on Thanksgiving Day. So it's so fun that we get to still have Thanksgiving. And this first Thanksgiving was a long time ago. And it's such a great day that in America, we keep celebrating. It's kind of fun, isn't it? All right, I have a song about a turkey now. Now my turkey has some different color feathers. So let me hold up my turkey so you can see. So I'll tell you the colors because maybe on the computer you won't be able to see as well. So I have yellow and orange. This one is blue. I think I'll take this purple one off. So I've got yellow, orange, and blue, pink, white, and green. So I'm going to sing a song and I'm going to turn the board around and I'm going to take one of the feathers off. You have to try to guess which one is missing. All right. Turkey feathers, turkey feathers, many pretty colors, many pretty colors. Which color's missing? Which color's missing? Tell me now. Tell me now. Okay, ooh, I bet you know it's missing from here. Do you have an idea of what color did you think it would be? Yellow? Okay, let's study the pilgrim's feathers. Yellow, orange, blue, pink, white, and green. All right, I'm going to try it again. Turkey feathers, turkey feathers, many pretty colors, many pretty colors. Which color's missing? Which color's missing? Tell me now. Tell me now. Do you have an idea? Did you think it was green? If you did, you were right. Okay, I'm going to try it again. And then I think I'm going to try it a little bit to make it a little bit trickier. Turkey feathers, turkey feathers, many pretty colors. Many pretty colors. Which color's missing? Which color's missing? Tell me now. Tell me now. Okay, we know it was here. What color was it? Did you guess orange? Now I'm going to take two feathers away. So look again. Green, white, pink, blue, orange, and yellow. Turkey feathers, turkey feathers, many pretty colors, many pretty colors. Which color's missing? Which color's missing? Tell me now. Tell me now. Okay, what's one of the colors? One of the colors is white. What's the other color that's missing? And the last missing color is blue. Oof, we might have to try that again sometime. That's kind of a fun game to play. Now, I brought a mystery bag today, and I have something in my mystery bag. I'm going to hold it close to my computer because this is going to make a sound, and I'm wondering if you're going to be able to hear the sound. Are you ready? Ooh, could you hear it? It's still going. I'll try it again. you know what's inside? Did anyone think it would be a turkey? Look at this turkey. So he's got his turkey feathers. And I see some feet down here. He's got kind of a fat body. His neck, a beak. Can you see his little eyes? And then this part is called his waddle, that red part. All right, let me press him again and maybe you can hear the sound of him gobbling. Ooh, I think I'm going to leave that, oh, maybe right here. Let's see. I don't know if I'll be able to hang it on the board. I have to have a pretty strong magnet. Does it work? Maybe. Let's 
if I can get it to hang up there. Oh, I can. I did it. All right. My last story today is called Turkey Tut. And he has some friends. He's friends with a pig and a chicken. And there's a little baby chick at the bottom. So they all live together on a farm. That's where a lot of turkeys live right now. They live on a farm. Someone might just have a turkey farm and just have lots of turkeys. So here's Turkey Tot. And the person who wrote it is George Shannon. And a lady named Jennifer made the pictures. So here's their farm. And then close by, so I can see the Turkey Tot walking this way, is a bush with blackberries. Turkey Tot stared at the flat, the fat blackberries that were hanging above. Oh, so juicy and sweet, said Chick with a quiet sigh. Pig nodded. Yep, but much too high. Hen shook her head. Very high. No sweet and juicy treat today. Oh, it looks like they ate all the berries on the bottom. And then all that's left are these berries up on the top. And not one of them can reach. All four friends shook their head as they walked to the pond. How do they look? Do you think they feel kind of sad? They look sad that they're missing out on getting those berries. Oh, look, Turkey Tot yelled. Good luck. I found a ball of string. Oh, that's not sweet to eat, said Chick. Or juicy, said Pig. We're hungry, said Hen. And we can't eat string. Turkey Tot grinned. But if you help me find balloons, we could tie the balloons to the string and then we can float up, up, up to the berries for a sweet, juicy treat. Oh, look at this. There's this little bubble or that little cloud. And this shows what they're thinking about. Oh, not me, said Chick. You're talking silly talk. Not me, said Pig. We can't reach the berries and that's that. Tisk tisk, said Hen. He's been different since the day he hatched. Turkey Tot shrugged. Then I'll go find some balloons myself. But he couldn't find any. So he didn't. But he found something else. Look, Turkey Tot said, and he hurried to his friends. More luck. I found a hammer and some nails. If we find some sticks, we can make a ladder. And then we'll climb up to the berries for a sweet, juicy treat. Oh, they're all thinking about that. Not me, said Chick. You're talking silly talk. Not me, said Pig. We can't reach the berries and that's that. Tisk tisk, said Hen. He's been different since the day he hatched. Turkey Tot shrugged. Then I'll go find some sticks myself. But he couldn't, so he didn't. But he found something else. More luck, he yelled. I found a tin can. We, if we can find a board, we can make a teeter-totter. And you can sit on one side and I'll bounce up to the berries for a nice, sweet, juicy treat. Not me, said Chick. You're talking silly talk. Not me, said Pig. We can't reach the berries and that's that. Tisk tisk, said Hen. He's been different since the day he hatched. Oh, Turkey Tot sighed. Then I'll go find a board all by myself. But he couldn't, so he didn't. But he found something else. Look, look, Turkey Tot ran to his friends. More luck, I found another tin can. Stop, said Chick, Pig, and Hen at once. We can't reach the berries, and that is that. Turkey Tot said, oh, but if, no, said Chick, you're talking silly talk. No, said Pig, we're going to the pond for a nice long nap. Tisk tisk, said Hen, he's been different since the day he was born. Do they want to help him at all? No. Oh, 
now he's going to work. So he's using the hammer and he's making a hole in the can. Then he's putting the string through the hole. He's tying it up in a nice knot. And then it looks like he made something to stand on. Do you think that will make him taller or smaller? Think if he stands on that, he's going to be taller. Let's see if that's what happens. Chick, pit, pig, and hen were napping. And Chick heard a thunk a thunk, thunk a thunk, thunk a thunk, thunk a thunk. Oh, what is happening? Do you think he can reach the berries now? Oh boy. Mama, cried Chick, something is coming and I don't know. Peep. Who's coming? We know it's the turkey. Pig and hen jumped awake. All three stared at Turkey Tut. What's in the basket? Asked Chick. How did you get so tall? Turkey grinned. I have a juicy, sweet treat. But how? Said Pig. Two cans made stilts. A hammer and nails made holes. And the string made handles. You're the best said Chick. Who would have thought, said Pig. Turkey Tot, Hen clucked. He's been different since the day he hatched. Oh, he found a way to reach those berries and shared with his friends. Let's sing our goodbye song together. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, to you. God bless you everywhere you go in all you say and do. Goodbye, 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 my friends to you. God bless you everywhere you go in all you say and do. Goodbye, my friends.